News at 9 starts now. A 17 year old at Greer's Ferry Lake fell into the water and never resurfaced. That's according to the Cleburne County Sheriff's Office. Good evening and thank you for joining us on Fox 16 News. I'm Stephanie Sharp. It happened around 10 30 this morning at Dam Site Park a, a Marina in Heber Springs. Fox 16's Rebecca Jeffrey spoke to one teen who tried to rescue the boy but was unsuccess unsuccessful. Rebecca. Yeah, Steph, this is the second drowning this season out at that park. Both victims were older teens. While many there today were unaware of what happened this morning, for those who witnessed those fatal few minutes, they'll never forget them. It's an idyllic summer Saturday at Greer's Ferry Lake with hundreds of families enjoying Dam Site Park. But just hours earlier, it was one family's nightmare. If it wouldn't have been so deep, I, I probably could have helped them. Giovanni Sendejas was at Trouble Island when the landmark earned its name. A lady was uh, yelling that she needed help, that a kid was drowning, and they couldn't find him, that he had sunk. According to the Cleburne County Sheriff, a 17 year old boy slipped and fell into the water. Sendeja says he tried to help the frantic family. Uh, I dove a couple times. But it was too deep. Several agencies, including a dive team, came to rescue the teen around 10:30 a.m. According to park rangers, the teen couldn't swim and was found 30 feet underwater. It's tragic. That's, it's horrible. Teresa May sits at the cliffs where the boy's body was found. Just to know that it, uh, it was right here, just right here. Now she's keeping a closer eye on the water below. When you're a mom, you just kind of. Look out for everybody's kids. Free life jackets are available to all visitors. The cliffs are speckled with the bright yellow preservers, but park rangers say the teen was not wearing one. You think you're invincible and you do it all. But after witnessing the drowning, Sendejas is using this tragedy as a wake up call. It does make me think a little more about what I'm going to do before I do it. The teen was sent to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. At this time, his identity is not being released. However, a visitor helping translate for the family says the boy was from Memphis. Stephanie.